Concord is suddenly getting pulled offline with Sony promising full refunds. Well, at least they're fully refunding everybody because it only lasted less than two weeks. They pulled that quick. That is one of the fastest pulls. I think it's even faster than Battleborn, isn't it? I, I would look that up, but I don't care. This comes after eight years of develop. Eight years of development? This Concord game was in eight years of development, apparently. Are you kidding me? Probably hundreds of millions spent by Sony to get this off the ground. Holy moly, that is bad. The stunning and brave first person hero shooter. Live service. Just, just tanked hard and hit the ground. Then dug a hole and buried itself alive. It's got a little bit of a rant here. Is there a lack of creative talent nowadays? There might be a little bit, but I don't, overall, I don't, I mean, look out in the world. Look what people are creating in the independent space. There's stuff being created everywhere all the time. And a lot of it's pretty good. I mean, most of it's probably not going to be good. That's just the way it goes, but. You know, a good portion of it is. I think it has to do with this new age style of management. That's what I think. Like, for instance, back in the day, I think it was Frank Zappa who said this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He was talking about the music industry, but I think this applies across all of it right now. The entertainment industry as a whole. Music, movies, games, the whole thing. But back in the day, he said, you know, you go into the uh, office, CEO office or whatever, and you'd want money to work on a project, right? Whether it was a song you're working on or a genre. And you would uh, sit down and pitch it to the higher ups, like the, you know, the old, the old guys sitting in the office, the administration, and they were chomping on cigars and they would listen to your pitch. They would just ask a few questions like, Hey, is this, you think this is going to resonate with the kids? The people are actually going to buy this stuff. And he's like, Oh, maybe, you know, it's a worth a shot. Right. And the guys are like, you know what? If it makes us money, that will back you. Let's try it. And then they would throw money at it and then they would do it. And sometimes it would succeed and sometimes it would fail. You know, maybe they did have some input to some degree, but it wasn't like you see today. Like now it's my generation that are in charge of these studios and the entertainment industry and people slightly older than me. And they also want to believe that they're also creatives. So not only are they in the administration, like your Bob Iger types, but they also want to give notes about how the thing should, uh, how the story should pan out. They want to be in the writer's room. They want to be in the CGI department. They want to be, you know, in every aspect of the creation process and have their fucking hands in every single bit. And now all that does is just muddy the waters and ruin everything. The management and administrative class should do exactly that. You find out where the money is, try to get it funded, make sure the accounting books are all fucking even, let the creatives create and they can give you the product and you could stamp it or not stamp it depending on what you feel about it. You, there's a separation of powers, right? That should, that's the way it should go. And that's not, that's not what's happening nowadays. The upper management and shit like that is now trying to create the games themselves instead of helping the developers hone their vision. That's just how it should go. And you're going to make better games as a result, I think. There's a reason why the best books ever written and stories ever told are written by one person. Can you think of a great book and story that was written by a conglomeration or a, a group of people? I can't think of one. It's usually one fucking person that tells a story. PlayStation Hero Shooter Concord will be taken offline on September 6, 2024, and all players will receive a full refund. While many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Yeah, sure didn't. A lot of people are going to lose their job over this one. They didn't really deserve to lose their job, but they're going to now. We already have Overwatch, though, and that's, that game's pretty stunning and brave. You know, people are just going to play that. They don't, they didn't want to play Concord. It was just a remake, just a rehash of that, except for you feel slower. I played the demo for like a day and I lasted two matches and I was like, I'm just, there's nothing fun here. At least Overwatch was kind of fun for a while. So it's not, not a surprise this game failed, but I was a little shocked to see it fail quite this quickly. I mean, what they tried to do is they had a, they had a paid live service hero shooter. In today's market, that is not gonna that's not gonna work. Every, all these hero shooters are free to play. Yeah, they all are, aren't they? I think they all are. I'm trying to think of a hero shooter right now that you have to pay for, outside of like their little packages. But they're all free to play. And then Destiny was a paid hero shooter, sort of, I guess. Not really in the same vein, but a live service game nonetheless. And that was paid initially until they went free to play. They, they might try to fucking re-release this shit after they tweak it a little bit, and maybe then it'll be good. I don't know. I guarantee you the next time it comes out, it's going to be free to play. Concord will therefore be taken offline so Sony developers, Firewalk Studios can explore options, including those that will better reach our players. Yeah. Yeah. 
The game is being removed from sale immediately. Anyone who purchased on the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct will be refunded to their original payment methods. Uh, those who purchased on Steam and Epic Game Store will be refunded in the coming days. <laughs> Physical refunds are a tad trickier, but players can check with individual retailers to obtain a refund. Well, that's going to be the shitty part. People that, that went to like GameStop or any of these other places and bought a physical copy. I like physical copy. I like physical media more than I like digital media. But they're going to, looks like in most cases, are probably going to get screwed on that one. If I had to guess. I mean, that's just, that's silly. That's a silly amount of incompetence right there. To have that much money going in and being like a game that was uh, directly backed by Sony. I mean, there's no way that people are going to be, well, the higher ups will probably keep their job. Let's be honest. Was this, does this one, did this one get the sweet baby touch of death? Did this one, I don't even know if this one had the sweet baby touch of death. Does it really matter? No, it really doesn't. It still sucked anyways. Uh, its launch was nothing short of disastrous with analysts telling IGN it was likely that it sold roughly 25,000 units. Is that total? Like through all the platforms? It debuted to a tragic 697 peak concurrent players on Steam. Oh my God! <laughs> Makes the Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. You know, looked like a success by comparison. The characters were unimpressive. The story was fucking lame. I couldn't even. I couldn't even uh, sit through the story, man. I had to. I fast forwarded that shit. I was like, nope, not doing it. The graphics looked good enough, but the gunplay just seemed something off about it. Slow. I don't know how it was on PC. I played it on PS5, but even for the PS5, it seems slow. I feel like you're running through molasses. Plus the levels, the level design was poor. It just seemed really poor. And I'm not saying I can make a better, better level, but the this didn't seem well thought out at all. It's from top to bottom. Looks like they're gonna take it back and retool it. Guarantee you, it's coming out as a free to play. There's no way it's gonna stay as a as a paid uh, game, and I guarantee you they changed the name on that one. They're gonna you're gonna see a different a different name coming out with similar characters in a couple of years, probably. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let them, let them, let them uh, cook it for a little longer and then see what they come up with. So, we we'll meet again. Come on the adventure.